This is another video for Spartan Society to the Battle of Luctra and again finishing off Spartan cultural life with Greek writers views on Sparta and this video is a bit of an intro into Thucydides. So here we can see him here, he's writing after Herodotus and, and before Xenophon, he's the second oldest source that we have for uh, Sparta. Again we need to remember these problems with the evidence, preconceived ideas and biases, influence of previous writers, uh, in Thucydides case he, he relied heavily uh, in, in many cases on Herodotus. Uh, Spartan isolation, the time of writing, and whether they were pro-Spartan or anti-Spartan. So Thucydides was writing a little bit later than Herodotus. He's writing again in the 5th century BC, but just a little bit later than Herodotus. And he's writing about uh, the Peloponnesian Wars, which was the, the wars that erupted between um, Athens and Sparta and in, in, encompassed most of the Greek city-states at the time. Uh, so his, his work is called the Peloponnesian War. Uh, and what he tells us about is just those, those events that took place between Athens and Sparta. But again, like uh, Herodotus, he focused mainly on the foreign policy and more so than the domestic policy of Sparta. So we don't find out much about the Spartan way of life in his, um, in his writings. He did, though, admire the, what he called you know, the good order or eunomia of Sparta, the fact that it seemed to function quite well and, and that they, uh, their, their diligence and, and, um, and discipline was, was admired by him. We do need to look at some of the issues with his writing and one of those is that he was an Athenian general originally. He was exiled from Athens so that might have had an impact on how he viewed Athens but uh, he was exiled from Athens which means he was sent away and, and couldn't live there anymore for a period of time. Uh, and, but he still most likely had some allegiance to Athens because he was you know, an Athenian and he was an Athenian general. Uh, the fact that he was an Athenian general puts him in better stead than Herodotus because uh, at least Thucydides knows about tactics and, and, and battle far more than Herodotus ever did. So he's much more useful for writing about warfare than Herodotus was. Uh, Sparta didn't really want to have much to do with him. When he did try to speak to, Sparta, to the Spartans to find out more about um, what, you know, what their way of life was and their opinions on the war, but they were very reluctant to, to open up to him and talk to him. Uh, we need to remember that Athens lost this war and being a previous Athenian general, uh, Thucydides might be trying to justify why, because he does say some positive things about Sparta, so he might be trying to justify uh, why Athens actually lost that war. And we have a quote there from Lawless that kind of sums him up reasonably well in that Lawless says uh, that he was value-laden, subjective, and perhaps a product of Spartan propaganda. So perhaps he, he, he bought into what the Spartiates were trying to say about themselves a little bit too much because he does promote the Spartan way of life as, as the reason why um, they won that war against Athens and he might have you know, um, drunk the Kool-Aid so to speak and, and, and listened a bit too much to what the Spartans were saying about themselves rather than actually finding out whether that was actually the, the, the truth or not.